Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be, actually we're gonna do a couple of readings in one, primarily for your like the next seven days coming up. We're gonna do a spread just to see in general how things are going to future outcome positions and anything that might be in your way. Um, and also we're going to do your week ahead, um, break it down day by day, the general energies and actions. And then, um, We'll finish it off with the current feelings, how the, your person is feeling about you and use them and we'll see the outcome there as well. So, all right. If there's one particular reading you want to see, just scooch ahead. I already went ahead and shuffled just because um, we're doing a couple of readings so we don't have to wait around for that. So, all right, Cancer. Next seven days, what's going on, what's coming up? for cancer. All right, overall energy looking good. I'm not going to clarify this too much, but keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So it could be your energy, the energy of the person that you're dealing with, to flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, um, it's a general reading. So only take what applies to your situation, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you would, please also if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is down below as well. All right, so like I said, I'm not going to clarify it too much. I just kind of want to give you a heads up of what's um, coming up. So for the week I have for the basics, and you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or the King of Pentacles. There could be some type of reconciliation or celebration. We have Aries, Sag, um... <laughs> Funny, we got the king and queen of pentacles. So a lot of stability there. It looks like there's a reason to celebrate. Because even in the mindset, somebody's mind is on, like, trying to balance this. Um, clarify, let's see. The external factors, kind of like what might be working against you, is that somebody, especially with this king of swords right after it, is really nervous in a logical mindset. Like, um anxiety, things like that. So tell me about this King of Pentacles for Cancer, please, for the weekend. Hmm. The Four of Cups. So you could be rejecting the offer. It almost feels like, um, oh, wow. So it's like somebody is trying to be a provider here. Somebody's attention may be kind of elsewhere kind of floating a little bit and it may be just because of monetary thing you also could have options and you could reject this person's offer so it could go a couple of ways here yeah maybe keeping it to yourself or kind of just be um a little unsure of the situation show me this um because here in the immediate future we do have temperance which is about healing or kind of just going with the flow show me this temperance for the immediate future for cancer the high priestess and the ten of pentacles so it does feel like something's trying to blend here um yeah but there is a sense of waiting of setbacks and decisions it's like somebody does have a choice or options to make it doesn't have to be between people but um could be rejecting the offer but there's definitely some hold back some waiting period here show me this eight of swords for cancer because this is like kind of what's blocking you somebody is like curious here but they're nervous anxiety afraid to speak up and that could kind of be blocking things from moving forward this week um, show me this justice card for cancer for the week ahead. This is intent. So it's like what, you know, somebody has, um, on their mind to do. So it could be a legal situation, but it looks like somebody does want to bring some type of balance. Show me this justice. Yeah. To move forward. It's about a choice though. With the two of pentacles, I'm sorry, the two of wands and the justice, both of those are twos. And that's what I said here from the from the jump you could have um options or choices but somebody's intent is to make make that decision to balance things out because your wish is here 
Show me this um, Queen of Pentacles, please. For Cancer for the week ahead. So we do have a match in pair. The King and Queen of Pentacles. Um, that's a lot of stability. Show me this Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, you're moving towards, this is Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with the player. Things are moving towards a wish fulfillment. But there is, like, a little bit of a setback, and that could be because um, the star, it could, I'm sorry, the five of swords. <laughs> it could be because you're dealing with a player. It could be because, um, I mean, this is somebody kind of wanting to win at all costs. So. Um, like I said, this that kind of goes back to this um, logical way of thinking. It could be some stubbornness, some hard-headedness. Show me this five of swords. Could just have a lot going on. So you are at the end of the day, it looks like going towards a wish, but there is like a waiting period. There's some shit that happens or kind of... It looks like somebody kind of draws in. Heels doesn't know which way to go. Leo energy, yeah. So there is some kind of holdback, setback, waiting period roadblock here. And that could be because of a couple of reasons. You could have options. You could be rejecting an offer. Because um, this could be an offer to date or something to reconcile. And somebody's like not interested because you could have other things going on. It looks like at the end of the day, it, I mean, at the end of the week, you know, it wraps back around because somebody does intend to make this choice, but before they make that choice, they kind of go towards this period of waiting, holding back, kind of being at a crossroads here, afraid to speak up or nervous to speak up. Um, it could be because you're dealing with a player as well, but you, it does wrap back around because you do have somebody who's extremely attractive to you. But there is a period of time where it's just kind of riding the wave there. That decision is not being made. So, all right, let's see week ahead. We'll do day by day for Cancer, please. Tuesday through Monday, February 9th through the 15th for Cancer. February 9th through the 15th for Cancer, please. Wow, there's that stress, that worry, that anxiety. The King of Swords was there um, for the last reading. There's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and there's that King of Pentacles. So you're dealing with the Emperor. The Emperor was there in the past for the last reading. But it looks like, um, you know, even if you're not dealing with the Aries, Libra, that just kind of like, almost like somebody turns off their emotions here. Nerves start to kick in because we still have anxiety here. All right, so overall energy for the week I have for Cancer. Thank you. The Ten of Cups. It uh, doesn't look like it's moving all that slowly, but this is um, your emotional fulfillment here. Somebody could be up in the air, um, kind of going back and forth, weighing options, that type of thing. Decisions, choices, like we were talking about earlier. It does look like I said at the end of the day, though, um, things resolve themselves. All right, so where are we starting Tuesday? We got the Page of Wands. Show me this Page of Wands for Cancer for Tuesday. This is what I was talking about with the, um, there is, with the last three, the external factors. Somebody is curious. With the Three of Pentacles there, that's wanting to work together. It could be around the work situation. It could be some type of good news. <laughs> but you're going towards something it looks like feeling good with the three of pentacles that's working together planning for the future you could be moving there could be good some good news about that but things are moving forward um teamwork kind of way towards like it looks like something pretty calm there you could be moving or traveling but it looks like things are moving forward pretty steady there's that ten of cups the ace of cups the ten of cups and the hermit, Virgo energy, but you got love on the mind. You got your emotions on the mind. All right, so show me Wednesday, because we got the Eight of Cups. So somebody, you're turning your back towards something here. Could be walking away from something. 
The Eight of Wands. Interesting. All right. So the Empress Taurus energy, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. You're manifesting this, right? You're manifesting something new. This could be um, starting a family, but there's a new love. Like somebody is seeing you as long-term wifey. They have a lot of love for you here. So there's some type of communication. Um, but it's also with that eight of wands about moving forward. But while you're doing that, it's like somebody is turning their back towards the situation. It's interesting. Why the eight of cups? Because all this is forward moving energy. This is new beginnings, your wish fulfillment. But like I said, for the overall energy, you have your emotional fulfillment. But somebody's kind of up in the air. So what is, why the Eight of Cups for Wednesday for Cancer? It's that much love, I'm not sure. You know, you could be turning your back towards something else, or you could be rejecting this offer. That's crazy. You're going to have to take that one, how it applies to your day. Because the first card out, there's something new starting, right? But somebody's the same card, decisions, choices, maybe going back and forth, either they're mentally or, you know, with another situation. So there is some type of communication, things trying to move forward, something, a new beginning in love, um, a lot of happiness, a lot of love around that, but you're either rejecting that offer or you're walking away from something else to get it or vice versa. Show me the high priestess for cancer for Thursday, please. This is all about intuition. You could be keeping a lot of things to yourselves here. The King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The King of Swords keeps popping up. Tell me one more about... See, there's an offer here. You could be using your intuition. How you could be keeping it to yourself with that high priestess. The queen of wands. I'm going to clarify that one. Because this is some type of offer. Aquarius energy. But it's a loving. It's a sweet offer. And the day before you had some type of communication. Which made somebody kind of turn their back to start something new here. Possibly reject an offer. So you do have somebody reaching out here, um, and this is like wish fulfillment, but tell me about who is this Queen of Wands? Is this Cancer? Because at the same time, it's like somebody is very attractive to you and makes you very happy, but with the hangman here, Pisces energy, this is somebody trying to see things from all perspectives. They're not really, there's still things that either you're keeping to yourself or that it's not like it doesn't feel like the feelings are just being outright and expressive. But this person is definitely attracted to you. Somebody is still holding on to hope there and wanting to reach out. Show me this Nine of Swords for Cancer for Friday. This King of Swords is stressed as hell. Or someone is worried. Why are we so worried on Friday? Stress, anxiety, loose and sweet. Yeah, see, <laughs> the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups again, which we had here on Tuesday. So somebody's not really speaking. Uh, it's about healing with the Four of Swords, kind of being inward, just wanting to chill at the house. Because somebody is worried now because they done walked away from a situation a couple of days before. So whatever that is, that kind of ends up causing a lot of stress. But they don't, it's like they don't reach out. Could be some spying going on. Could be some type of delays as well. But whatever happened here, whatever, whoever walked away on Tuesday is now very much stressing in here on Friday. But not really voicing that. Show me this hangman for Saturday for cancer. This is somebody falling back healing, doing a lot of reminiscing of Sagittarius energy, waiting, taking no action, kind of just going with the flow here. 
could involve children, but that's where that immediate future um, thing, things that kind of just came to a crossroads. The same cards from when we did that very first reading. All right, so Sunday, show me this King of Pentacles, who we had here for that reading as well. See, <laughs> somebody was bouncing back and forth. This is the liar, cheater, thief card, right? There was some betraying energy here. So this is Taurus for Capricorn, but it's also like somebody coming back to be Mr. and Mrs. Stability is what it looks like. Because with the Five of Cups, they're regretting. The grass was not greener. So somebody was, it looks like they're juggling. Maybe third party situation, but there's some regret here. So it's like somebody is trying to stabilize and secure the situation because they walked away on Tuesday and then it's kind of like things kind of go on hold or emotions kind of go on the back burner and then on Friday they really start stressing that but they're not voicing it Saturday doesn't look like a whole lot of action Sunday boom grass looking greener trying to come back home show me this show me this um Monday show me Monday or cancer king of swords again let's see if there's emotions being shared this time no nope. see the uh nine of wands and the two of swords the situation comes to a crossroads somebody's tired wore out could have blocked the situation but it's also about intuition it's completely cut off there see like there's there was possibly a third party situation here but somebody this is your energy here with the chariot there's heartbreak there's pain there's this or something that's at a distance right and somebody is so stressed and so stressed that it's over that they cut off their intuition they don't know what to do it's like losing sleep there's anxiety all around this so i don't know who's turning their back here but they're they end up really regretting that so, um, all right, Cancer, that's what we go ahead. Just keep a heads up. All right, so let's do feelings. I'll get these straight later. All right, feelings. How is Cancer feeling? How is their person feeling? What is the outcome of those feelings for the week ahead? What are the feelings? How is Cancer feeling? How is the person on their mind feeling? person that they're thinking about and what are the outcome of those feelings please it looks like somebody's about to make a decision that they're going to regret all right feelings how is cancer feeling how is their person feeling this week coming up there's their energy there's that king of swords and the emperor. It's like somebody kind of cuts off their emotions here. All right, just real quick. How is cancer feeling? How is their person feeling? Too much. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. The first two piles I'm going to make, you can switch them back and forth. They're interchangeable, okay? Oh, wow. All right. Look, that's fucking crazy. That same King of Pentacles. And for the outcome, we have somebody, Three of Pentacles at the bottom. This is third party. This is somebody, you know, being a little deceptive, waiting. So, um... It's interesting because in your person's position, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry, in your position. Well, these two can be flipped, okay? But somebody is wanting to move forward while somebody is feeling like shit's over. Betrayed, stabbed in the back. We have a third-party situation happening. Or deceit, at the very least. Show me this Wheel of Fortune for how cancer is feeling towards this person. What is this Wheel of Fortune? The Ace of Swords. One more. Because that can be about cutting out what's no longer serving you. Show me one more card. This Emperor in the Chariot. That's your energy. I'm trying to clarify this Ace of Swords though. Because that could also be a realization. And things could completely be on two different pages here. Thank you. 
the Knight of Pentacles, see, yeah, it's looking like you want to move forward, or it could be this person wanting to work on things, offer something solid, talk, move forward, get things balanced, take control. Show me this Ten of Swords for how Cancer person is feeling. And remember, you can flip the tiles, okay? This is just for my own reading. Um, show me this Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody is feeling like it's over and things are at a crossroads. They don't know what to do. This could be a betrayal, a backstabbing. So it's kind of like two different energies here. Wanting, shoot, with the Page of Pentacles, though, a, a, an opportunity, but not knowing how to proceed with that all right so show me the seven of pentacles for the outcome so it's looking like clarity clear communication if we don't have a whole lot of feelings here except for that ten of swords like things being ended I and mean, up here we had somebody really worried that things are over here and wanting an opportunity but kind of being at a crossroads and not knowing what to do so both want to come forward and offer an opportunity but something's kind of coming in the way here that speed bump Show me the seven of pentacles for the outcome. Because we have that king of pentacles, that seven of swords. Which is, you know, somebody being deceitful. Um, Libra energy with the justice. Give me one more. Because it looks like things are, are going to balance out eventually. Because of this card, it's the star. Yeah. Waiting, putting in time and energy. At the end of the day, like I said, it's gonna it's gonna try to wrap back around. But it's like with that seven of pentacles, somebody is really taking things slow. Um but still holding on to hope with that star card, Aquarius energy. Wanting an opportunity to rebuild. Yeah, see the magician. Somebody does come back around and want this again their communication and you know just the heads up somebody is, is going to end up um making a decision that that they regret here but they will come back around and manifest they do still hold on to hope after this fact all right let's get an advice card for you guys Advice for cancer for the week ahead, for the next seven days. I need advice for cancer, please. Advice for cancer. Thank you. I'm going to take the one that, okay. We got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Right here was deception, but it's too many to take. So, um, but in this card, retreat. There's two people going away together. So, you know, maybe alone time is what's needed. Um, I don't know. Take it out rather than with you. Between you and your person or give me one more card for cancer. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There's, there's some holdbacks this week. That's for sure. All right, Cancer. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Uh, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Just quickly, I'll tell you. You got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And you also got religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, so listen to your intuition, okay? All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.